cue the audience attention grabber in three, two, one. That was a test. Let's see if you're still watching the video. I, I've heard from that other YouTubers that use these certain tools in their videos to keep people watching. Um, I, I might have a few in this video just to try it out. Better late than never. End of the world. Oh wait, sorry, it's end of the year. <laughs> Feels like it. Hey guys, and welcome to this video. I owe you a big big apology. I have not uploaded since October? I can't even remember. It was a try not to laugh challenge, I believe. But anyways, I'm here again for Rewind 2021. I know this video is not as great as last year's, but I didn't have anything prepared and I've been meaning to talk to you guys for a while now. Man, 2021, it's been... 2021 oh where do i start january this year feels like it took forever while at the same time it's like it went by like that like that oh yes a uh, certain day that uh we went to a certain place and people said we caused a certain thing particularly the media uh this word right here which i'm not going to say on a certain day that I'm not going to say either. And we went to a certain place, which I am not going to say either. And as you can imagine, that video I did at that certain place got deleted. Yeah, it sucks. And a follow-up video, which was also deleted. And then a video following that, which was also deleted. YouTube has not liked me this year. And then they went on to repeat the process over nine more times. YouTube, man. <sighs> YouTube has not been kind to me this year. I have said a lot of things that they have not liked and every time they've gotten rid of one of my amazing videos that I've done last year, man, last year was great. I had a lot of cool stuff and they just like, <laughs> see ya, man. YouTube. In two days, I have a strike that will be removed. Yeah, two, uh, well, actually, no, no. In one more day, uh, one more whole day we have to go through before the strike is removed. Let me explain what happened. Okay, so last year I created a video where I composed a very amateur, but not that bad version to the national anthem, at least the instrumental stuff. YouTube deleted it this year, o almost a year after I made it, on the lines of harassment and cyberbullying. They seem to slap that sticker on quite a few of my videos that I've done over the last year and a half. Now two years, almost two years, come May. Because May I made a very big video that really had a good message to it but they didn't seem to care it seems any video where i mentioned this person well almost every video where i mentioned this person they take it down they really do not like me mentioning these things they really do not like my channel they even tried to give me another strike for a video i did back in september this one right here but i actually appealed for it and they accepted the appeal they saw that um you know there wasn't anything wrong with it which i am very surprised that youtube actually agreed to appeal that video i think there might be people that report my videos that um say the most outrageous things i'm i'm, I'm guessing this I'm not, I'm not certain i made a reference to these snowflake reports back into a video i made in june i believe bottom line YouTube doesn't like what I got to say. And here we are at the end of 2021. Long year, not a lot of videos. And all the good ones YouTube just took away. But they are back up, but not on this platform. They are up on two different platforms, which I will also not mention because I don't think YouTube likes them either. At least the algorithm, I don't think it likes me mentioning 
this one in particular. This one over here though, I know that many other people have mentioned it and have not gotten in trouble. It is a bigger platform and more recognized than this one. This one has been uh, charged with uh, hate speech and all this other crap that even DuckDuckGo talks about. DuckDuckGo is DuckDuckGo. I've I know many people use it because they, they, they like it. It doesn't keep track of what you do like Google does. But DuckDuckGo even has a, a description on this platform that talks crap about it, which makes me suspicious of them. But I won't go into that anymore. Um, my videos are on these platforms also, the ones that were deleted. So if you want to go look those up, you can find them. Sorry. Uh, tried to make this explanation as short as I can. I'm coming back, guys. I know I said I've got a lot of things planned that I want to do. I wanted to do them this year. I really wanted to do them this year, but it looks like we'll be pushing them next year. I am going to be, I'm going to be busy as heck next year. Uh, Kidnap Mr. 3, that is coming. We started filming that this month, but I'm going to need your guys' help if we're going to complete that and make it possible because movies cost money. And Kidnap Mr. 3, I meant it to be a short film, but it kind of turned into a feature. So, yeah. Another thing to mention this year is that I have dove deeper into the film industry and have actually gone on movie sets and there's not a lot i can say or show about that because if i do i will be in trouble and that is putting it lightly if i show you anything i'm doing in these movies i could potentially be fired sued and Dead. Okay, maybe not that far, but you, you get the picture. I can't share with you all the details of what happened on set, I guess. But I was I was on movie sets, and I'm I'm working in movies now, so that's really cool. I'm really thankful to God for helping me start this career. Yeah, that's been 2021 for me. Just that recently, I haven't felt very inspired to put anything on my channel. Every time I think of something, I end up getting something else in the way. Plus, we've been moving. As you can tell, this background here is a different background from that other room that I've usually done stuff in, which my, my, new, my new setup is downstairs. It's a mess, but it's what we got so far. And um, yeah, moving's been rough. Had a lot of things in the way, a lot of junk going on behind the scenes, which I, I won't dive into, but I will say this. Mr. T45. Hint, hint, M-A-G-A, -A, man. You've made a lot of promises, and I've noticed you've kept just about every single one of them. You were and still are the greatest president of all time in my opinion i know you promised that you'd be back in some form or another but if you are coming back please come back soon because this world is literally turning into a crap storm yeah that's all i got to say hopefully i'm still here next year and hopefully i will maybe start making money once the strike's gone um still stuck behind 200 subscribers which i was hoping to hit that goal before the end of the year but well i don't know we'll see how far this video gets maybe it'll push me over maybe it'll give me the 28 subscribers i need to meet that goal but i made more subscribers i made more subscribers this year than i have in any other year so that's cool every year we keep pushing more subscribers that's what i like seeing as long as we get more than the last but yeah i'll stop talking and ranting on and i'll just show you what I can that's been uh, a hit this year. Thanks guys. Happy 2022. Well, hello everyone. Today is the big day. In just a few hours I am flying, well, to Washington and then I am flying to Fort Worth, Texas, where I will be working on a film set. The film set of the oh, Man, I'm just, 
I'm pumped and I'm nervous at the same time. I've never travel flown before, so you know it's gonna be a new experience, but <sighs> second movie set. Let's go. Acting and crew. I mean that's gotta be huge. I mean it is huge, man. <sighs> I'm nervous for the job, nervous for the flight, and um also Kidnap Mystery 3. That's being filmed when we get back, so I'm nervous about that too, but also pumped. Big journey ahead. Big journey ahead.